Hello, a couple of years ago I did a review for a lovely man called Richard from a website and company called Train Tracker, which makes this product here. I've got two of these boards, a small white light LED version and a large color board, but we'll get to that uh, in a minute. I just like, I like the small white one though. It glows up at night when I have it uh, on my stand over there. And it basically shows you uh, where all the tube trains are on the tube network, on the TFL map. It uses the TFL API to get the information uh, and you configure the board uh, to then talk to the train tracker website and it then sends that information down to your board and you plug it into a power source or USB and it glows up and it looks wonderful and you can plot the positions of the trains and have it just on your side on the sideboard or in your bedroom at night uh, and if you're up in the early hours of the morning you can see the board go from sort of nothing to slowly filling up and if you're up late at night you can watch the board go from being full of trains to sort of slowly winding down at the end of the night. Richard got in touch again because there have been updates. <laughs> uh, all of these which uh, he's kindly uh, sent me through to have a look at. I've already had a sneak look at them and they are fabulous. In particular what's happened over the last few years uh, is that purple train Crossrail Elizabeth line has come in and that is why one of the first things that we will look at are these individual lines. Uh, I should say it's not just the Elizabeth line. So there's one here of the Northern line as well. And if you look on their website, you'll see uh, other lines are, have, are also available to buy and other lines are coming. But I just want to uh, quickly show you. If you open that up, you can see it's a printed circuit board there. Uh, and this one is the entire Elizabeth line, Abbey Wood branch. Heathrow branch down there as well. I note that a change since last time before, I think it was either mini or micro USB. Now, the port on the side, uh, it's changed to USB-C basically. So you can power these off of, uh, off, uh, it's got a USB-C port and it's got the standard USB plug there. You can either plug that in to any device that's got a USB plug or just have you know a three pin power adapter and then you plug, plug it in that way. It also comes with, uh, as this one has already got, oh, there's a little train tracker sticker right there. Uh, it also comes with uh, a nice wooden stand. And then your board rests nicely on there. And this does of course need the USB-C cable and not that old uh, mini micro USB cable. But take that one out of the way. And then I'm using my phone to do this. So what you then do, it's a fairly straightforward setup process. I'm attached to my Wi-Fi uh, network here at home. So I do that. I then go to the train tracker website where you have to make an account and log in, which is fine. So I press the setup button on there and you can see all the lights are in purple, which is fantastic. So what I've got on my phone is that I'm connected to my own local Wi-Fi. And whilst I'm connected to my own local Wi-Fi, I connect to the traintracker.co.uk website and I log in. You have to have an account on their website, which is normal for any kind of product or service. Uh, I go to the dashboard there uh, and I say I want to add in a new device uh, and you hit get started. Now, uh, I won't show you my exact code, but on the back of every board back here, uh, there is a serial number. There's a QR code as well, so you can just scan it if you want and you type in uh, the serial number uh, that is on the back of your board and hit continue. It then asks to give your device a name. Hilariously, obviously, I'm going to call mine uh, Purple Train because that's funny. Uh, and now what it does, I'm connected to my local network at the moment, my Wi-Fi, and you do the rather clever thing uh, of you then go to your settings on your phone and you switch. And this is now broadcasting uh, a local Wi-Fi network called Train Tracker. So you connect to that instead Give that a second to connect. You flip back to the train tracker website and you could then scan uh, for local networks. Give that a second. Sure enough, it's picked up uh, on the name of my Wi-Fi here and I then type in the password. Uh, you then type in the password for your own uh, local Wi-Fi and you press upload to board. The details have been saved. So it's already rebooted itself. Ta-da. <laughs> in purple, little purple trains, chugging along the network. Uh, that is it, you can visually see uh, exactly where all the purple trains are. Shall we do it with the big board? Oh, I should point out, it's pretty much the same. Uh, there's one here, just put that there. That's fantastic. <laughs> there's one here for the Northern Line, 
So if the Northern Line is your thing, maybe you live on the Northern Line. Uh, there's one there you can see there as well for the Northern Line. And look on their website, other, uh, other lines are available. That is the Northern Line there. And you can see there it's even got Battersea Power Station, Station and Nine Elms, uh, which is great. Just put it there. And then a UK and Ireland weather map. If I show you this one, uh, it's a weather map and you plug it in and it lights up uh, and again if you look on their website you can go through and it's got layers that you can configure so it can show you uh, rain or snow or snow forecasts or rain forecasts and a pattern and it updates like every 50 minutes or so and the lights they light up and it moves through the country showing you the patterns of the weather again uh, have a peek on their website uh, for full details of what you can configure there and I've had this running uh, this morning I watched it over breakfast just sort of watching the weather change you have to leave it running a little while to see the like the changes come through but again it's really good to have standing on the side and you can see if a rain is coming or not which is particularly useful for me if I'm going out filming then I'm like well I don't want to go out if it's raining but the one I want to do, the big one, that I obviously really need to do, is down here, it's the exciting one, it's the large full colour tube map, which has, it's, I had this before a couple of years ago, and I've got one back there, but now it's got Purple Train, Elizabeth Line added to it, and the Northern Line extension, so it's full colour, it's a full colour, full size board, it looks fantastic. Whoa, that looks Magnificent. Sorry, Elizabeth Line. I'm just gonna I'm gonna press the setup button on there. Refreshes all in white, and then again I do the same as I did before. It's resetting. Here we go. Let's get that going in there. Wow. Elizabeth Line out west. Northern Line extension down here. As I mentioned last time, you can't have black colored LEDs, so the Northern Line is in white. Everything else is matching the color perfectly. These look incredible. On your sideboard, hanging on the wall, when people come around, it catches their attention. They're like, ah, oh, what's that? And you can see uh, basically the status uh, of the tube. As per TFL's data, the board is only as good uh, as TFL's data allows, and it just lights up brilliantly, showing you where all the trains are on the network. DLR as well. No cable car though, so you've got, um, uh, and no trams. So it's, uh, it's Tube, uh, it's DLR, and now Elizabeth Line, and like I say, the brand new Northern Line extension as well. Their website is on screen, traintracker.co.uk. They are brilliant devices. If you're a Tube transport nerd, you're gonna wanna have one in your life, or they make brilliant gifts uh, as well. Traintracker.co.uk, their website is on screen, and there is a link in the description. All I can think of is that uh, we should finish with all four lit up like this.